Hello fellas, my name is Hung. I am a 16 years old student who lives in Hanoi, Vietnam. I started in a school where students are treated the same no matter who you are, what is your sexuality or gender. I'm proud to say that my school is a wonderful place to study, a perfect place to find love, to find happiness and to find friends. But in the same time, it gets me thinking that the world outside it is the same as my school or is this a tougher, more cruel place? To start our topic about equality, I want to tell you some story first. The first one I want to tell you is a story about a recent man I think we all know. George Floyd. He was nailed on his neck by a police officer while handcuffed and face lie down on the road. He was begging for his life, repeatedly saying, I can breathe until he actually couldn't breathe anymore. The police officer's behavior wasn't only considered to be police brutality, lack of police accountability, but also racism, which triggered demonstrations and protests in over 2,000 US cities and around the world. Next, it is the story about Kisha, a singer who success hide her dark secret of repeatedly getting sexually abused by her manager. In 2016, when she got all her breath and stand up for herself and sue her manager, surprisingly, people start to blame her for wearing too sexy clothes. Lastly, it is the story about a lesbian couple in the UK they were brutally beaten until they bleed just because they didn't obey to entertain some white straight boy who ridiculously asked them to kiss. Those stories that I told are signs of inequality in our society. Inequality can be seen in many forms including racism, gender prejudice, or LGBTQ plus discrimination. Nowadays, the world is changing and yes, we are living in the future with some up-to-date technology. But how about the society? Why did people keep on living with some old-fashioned prejudice that only exist in the past? Are people not even up-to-date like a robot? Have people live ha happily with each other? Have people live without any discrimination for each other? Every person has their right. And that's the right to be loved, to be respected, and not to be judged. But when a girl is raped, why did people blame the girl for not wearing enough clothes, but not to blame the raper? When a person in the LGBTQ plus community is bullied, why did people blame his or her for being gay, or lesbian, or transgender, and tell them to accept that, but not to blame the bullier? Why did black people not have their voice until now? And is this all the consequence of inequality in our society? Since when did all white strong straight men have the power to control the world? Since when did only their life matter? Racism and discrimination are crime and those bullies are criminals. Why did people not usually stand up for the weaker or the victim side? It is partly probably because they want to stand with the more powerful side, the more powerful side in order to bring them financial and society and social benefit. But I still have faith in people. People didn't ignore those problems on purpose. Is it just because of their lack of awareness in order to improve the situation? Firstly, we have to reject those attitudes. Do not make comments that ridicule, demean or humiliate women, black people, indigenous people, or members of the LGBTQ plus community, or any other historically marginalized group. Secondly, is that we have to raise our voice. Don't keep quiet if you hear such comments. Get some help or support if you know a friend who is suffering from domestic violence or other abuse. Lastly, let's educate each other about equality. 
you can share what you've learned with each other. This doesn't mean you should go around lecturing everyone you meet, but you can definitely correct misconceptions. It is time for us to educate people more about human rights, about how to treat each other, and about how precious each person's life is. Nowadays, there are many people or artists or influencers who stood up for human rights to live happily. But what really matters after all is that you have to stand up, speak and protect for your right to live happily with your true self and also stand up for those who haven't had voice to protect themselves. Today, things may haven't changed much, but together, day by day, little by little, we can change the world.